Oh, do you feel it? Do you see it? It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It's a flying lotus. And it brings us not just a new single, but this time it's a single featuring Anderson Pack. We got more, ladies and gentlemen, and with more, like I said, we get the feature of Anderson Pack. This is following the releases of Spontaneous slash Takashi, and also Fire is coming. I consider it third single because there's like music and a song, and there's a time frame of about like four minutes, so you can't say it's not a song like Fire is coming. I don't know. More has this very interesting vibe to it, and the fact that I really enjoy Flying Lotus's transitions, his shifts, the way he kind of makes Makes a song really feel dynamic and not necessarily static. It never feels like with a Flying Lotus song like you're gonna get the same thing. And sure enough, where Spontaneous and Keshi had a lot more groove and energy, the groove here is employed in a different way and it's almost a little bit more laid back. Now initially it has a bit of energy where it has this very gospel soulful tone to it as Anderson Pack kind of raps a little bit about wanting more and when you hear that you're like okay this is what it's going to be right and then 55 seconds later it fades out and we get a whole different song which employs the same kind of feeling that that first one had whereas Pack kind of weaves this narrative about meeting an old friend and catching up and realizing like how that person made him a kid and how also he has succeeded in so far as making money but he hasn't really found that um not necessarily enlightenment but that one thing that really puts his life over the top that lets him a lot allows him to really feel satisfied with the life he has and part of that comes in the fact that you know he's back at his old hometown in his parents house and it does and it starts to seem to click like I can get all of this stuff but if the people around me are not really doing so well is it really that meaningful and being able to bring people into that and being able to share that with others is something important to allow us to enjoy those moments and as Pat kind of raps about this Again, those um, voices that initially would come in had this sort of feeling that, at least with the intro part of it, had this sort of feeling of Pac being in this room among others and not necessarily being the leading voice. And they would kind of overtake and here they overtake for a good amount of time and the beat kind of stays steady it doesn't really shift too much in this bit but you get that sort of electric synth start to come back and it starts to make it feel a little a little more wavy and when you hear that that's when it starts to shift again and it, it's the same question of like the narrative the crux of the narrative is searching for more trying to find that fulfillment that seems to be consistently evading that person or that narrator and these are other people who have stated that and again like pack talking about like he was able to get a bag but that feeling of being a kid and enjoying that life and it's sort of like the initial feeling of when you're working really hard for something and you finally get it what comes after you get it? what are the new problems and then once you solve those problems what are those problems and it's sort of just like when you ratchet up the stakes and then you finally beat the stakes it's like okay what do i do now and this is sort of a crossroads which i think a lot of us reach once we have a success for those those who don't reach successes consistently every time you are successful it's like yes okay what's the next thing but for others when you hit that pinnacle of success it's like climbing the top of the mountain it's like okay now what just go down it's not going down is like only fun if you're sliding down like a snowboard and there's a freaking avalanche chasing you avalanches are not fun and i do not recommend but it's sort of the same thing here emotionally where you're trying to reach that and it sort of talks about how he's like looking to the stars in his own mom's house and trying to really find that and it's, it's fun hearing Pac just rap a little bit more here I really enjoyed that and I'm excited to see what he brings as far as his own next album even though he just dropped two I have a feeling he's just gonna keep going and I'm very excited for that but as far as it goes I am curious to see how the rest of the sound on this album of Flying Lotuses from Magra is going to sound like and I really so far I really like the plethora and variety of sounds that we get it doesn't really stick to one thing but I think the theme if we look at sort of the album art is probably going to be something along the lines of searching for oneself but also in this po post-apocalyptic landscape at least that's what fire and fire is coming seem to imply with the wolf children type of deal or at least it's going to have some sort of um these surreal aspects that really come out again like i said when i listen to most flying losses it feels like you're surfing through the cosmos but also that could be an emotional cosmos and you're trying to reach enlightenment and um achieve something you know better become more emotionally mature 
before. Those type of themes I feel are really consistent in Flying Lotus's thing, especially the idea of like existentialism and stuff like that, exploring life. I mean, his last album I want to say was You're Dead. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but You're Dead was also one that kind of explored that just one part of it, death, which is ultimately the finale to everyone's life. And again, it'll be interesting to see how Flying Lotus, how his next album is going to explore these different themes because it seems like he's stretching it out more instead of having the just one aspect of life which the finale the the finality of it is something that's very significant but i am curious to see how he approaches all those different topics overall this song more is a bit of an exploration that doesn't that reigns in the shifts to a degree but still has these awesome voices that come in and out and allow for Pax feature to feel more like he's there but you're also getting these different voices that gives him space to really operate and it sort of again pushes this idea of you're not the only one dealing with this and you're not the only one trying to figure this out and I like that a lot I also enjoy the instrumentation I think it's got nice bass to it I think think that the electric guitar that comes in I think that is in the sense and the real like I said gospel-y feel at the beginning was really nice and I, I, I would have liked to see him explore that but he didn't and that's fine again overall I really like this song I think it's a cool song that explores some things that we all deal with as human beings and I will love to see the rest of the album which is coming out soon flying lotus more Well, this guy says, I don't often ask for more, but when I do, it is typically food, food, and uh, lemonade. Love me some lemonade.